Uh, my name is Yuri Diogenes. I'm a professor for the bachelor's in cybersecurity as well as the master's in cybersecurity program for the EC Council University. I feel very honored to on the faculty of the year at ECCU because uh, we have such a great team in, in this university and uh, be recognized among so many great people is just, is just an honor. Uh, it really shows that uh, my work is going in the right direction and there is appreciation uh, from the faculty and from the students as well. So very honored uh, to be able to achieve that after three years of working for the uh, university. Well, I first heard about this CU uh, at Hacker Houted. Uh, I was attending and uh, I heard about uh, the program that they were putting together for the masters in cybersecurity. And uh, during that time, I already have my master's, but I was interested in teaching. Uh, so that's when I start uh, getting more used, get to know about the program, what they cover. And uh, I start to believe because when I saw the content, I was like, this is a great content. This is really uh, what we need uh, out there. I think the cyber program at CU, it really prepares the students for the market because it uh, is current. It has what we really are used as far as technology and the themes uh, that uh, are happening right now. We try to always not only leverage the curriculum, the official curriculum, but introduce new stuff within the discussions. So the dynamics of the program is very flexible so that we can uh, add stuff on the go. So we keep the same curriculum, but we keep refreshing uh, on each class or if, if Every week we have new stuff for students, so it's very dynamic. Uh, and for that, I believe it really prepares for what we have right now as far as the cyber threats, the threat landscape overall. Students are living with the sense that they know what to do and they are ready to go to the market to work. First is practical, right? We have labs. Uh, we don't focus only on the theory we go to the practice. So that's very important. We don't stay only on the theory. We always cover some practice and, and that's very important. They need to have hands-on activity. And with our labs, in conjunction with the lecture, they have both things and, and really helps, right? We have scenarios that they have to analyze. We have study cases. Uh, and these things are very important because these are things that they will deal uh, on the daily basis at, at work. Well, one of the greatest advantage, I think, uh, of uh, teaching for uh, a broad uh, universe of students all across the globe is the diversity of the students and the background, right? So what for me in the US might be something natural uh, and second nature for me, it might not be the same thing for someone that is in Brazil or in another place, right? So their background helps us to see things in different perspective. Uh, so every time that we are in a discussion, because we have weekly discussions, someone always brings uh, that unique perspective. And I think that that's very important because everyone else that is following that discussion, they are actually learning uh, from a different perspective. So it really introduces uh, the diversity aspect of the technology when you start to elaborate and think in different angles. I think that's very unique that we have. And I, th I think that not only me as a professor, I, I learned from the students that they are uh, passing a different perspective, but I'm able to uh, elaborate more uh, my next question, my follow-up question based on that feeling that I have from the class. I think that's a, a good example.